Good evening, it's Friday night, fans, and welcome to the Deathmatch Russell Podcast edition. Once again, Deathmatch Russell Podcast is going to have the manager, J.T. Davidson, on. And we're going to talk a lot about his tag teams that he has managed, he manages, and where he's going to be, Rockstar Pro, CZW, and meant much, much more. Let's get into it. Let's have fun tonight. Thank you. Ready for him to call in. Good evening, JT, and how are you doing tonight? Doing very well yourself. Not bad, man. It's Friday night. A little talk some wrestling. How's that? And start the night That's off right, because I got nothing going on tonight. Just a podcast chat with you tonight. How's that? That's phenomenal. Yeah. So, uh, what's going on with you? Are you uh, so, what do you got going playing for this weekend? You got uh, any local shows? Or are you just relaxing? You got a lot going on? Or are you just chilling? Uh, well, I do have the show tomorrow in Detroit. Uh, oh, nice. ICW. Um, yeah, after, uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I've got going on. I've already done, uh, you know, Rockstar this week. Yes. Uh, and a few other things, but, uh, you know, this weekend's going to be pretty slow. Dave is actually uh, leaving for Japan uh, tonight. Uh, so, obviously, I... Excuse me one second. Yep. Uh, so, obviously, I won't be going with him for that. No, that's a little bit of a trip, yeah. <laughs> you know, but that's awesome. He's going to go to Japan. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, a lot going on in the world for you guys. You got, actually, I'll, can I, let's just, let's just say it now. Can I say it? I just Absolutely. saw, I saw something on YouTube of a debut in, uh, some, mm-hmm. other, in a company that they're going to be, uh, on TV, I think, TNA or one of those big companies. I oh, think. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, the entire thing has been, uh, Con- yeah, it's all been announced now, so there's nothing, so, con- uh, you know, we got to hide, yeah. No, uh, congratulations uh, to them. <laughs> It's time yeah, for they're, Dave and they're, uh, it's time for Dave and Jake to show what show them what they need. You know the fans need that absolutely little boost of uh, power. And if not, hey, back to the NDC goes. It doesn't matter. He's the best. They they're the best at what they do. You know, in tag team. Exactly. You know, and also your other guys. Big ups to all your uh, other guys. Boy, you got all your other tag teams that you take care of. Uh, I want to <laughs> say uh, Zachary uh, Desmond as always. Uh, the new guy, uh, new one, yeah. right? Tr- uh, Trey, Trey is. Yeah, Trey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tr- yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, and obviously, Sammy's still in there, but Sammy's his own guy. But, he, uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, there's a there is a uh, bunch big. of good things going on in the on the you know the OI 4K. Yes. Killer uh, Yes. Right yeah, a lot and a lot. We just saw that a couple of weeks back at um, at the uh, what is it? Uh, evolution, right? Evolution, 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 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Evolution. Yeah, it was really awesome. It was really a surprise to see all those guys show us all. And it was a lucha kind of match, scramble match. It was really well, well counted. You know, they really performed. Yeah, well, and that was that was a showcase match. I mean, yes, you know, obviously. Yes. You know, Dave J and Sammy don't, don't need to be showcased. No. It's a great opportunity to <clears throat> you know put uh, you know Dez, Zach, and really on a bigger uh, yeah. you know, tray. Mm-hmm. You know, in that position, you know, to really show a bigger audience, you know, what they can do. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, Zach and Dez, good grief. I mean, CZW tag champions. Uh, I know. You know Formerly, uh, you know, they've been uh, AAW uh-huh. team champions. Now, I mean, they're they're doing real well. So. Yeah. Um, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Trey. You know, I think. That kid's, you know, for AAW, now back to CZW, mm-hmm. and that kid's going to explode. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, he's, yeah, th- those guys train pretty good, you know? They're coming from a good background. Yeah. You know? Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, Dave, uh, you know, Dave's been a trainer for years, but I think in the last, uh, yeah. you know, year and a half, two years, I think he's really, you know, figured out, you know, kind of a formula to success. And, you yes. Know, he's been producing a lot of, you know, great talent. I mean, you got to, Yes. Samantha Heights is out there too. I mean, WSU, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, AAW, uh, Shimmer, you know, all these places uh-huh. that they've uh, trained as well. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what got you into becoming a manager? How's that? Let's 
Let's start fresh off the bat. <laughs> okay. Uh, what got me to become the manager? So, uh, yeah. All right. So when I was, uh, I was a wrestler. I started wrestling in uh -huh. uh, probably about 2005. Oh, wow. And when, uh, you know, I wrestled for several years. And mm -hmm. again, I was, I trained primarily. Yeah. Uh, as far as my formal training with mm. Dave, yeah, uh, so I think I could be tra uh, credited with, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> the same guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, but you know, basically, as far as uh, mm -hmm. you know, managing, I didn't start managing until about three years ago, uh, you right, 2014, yeah, yeah, uh, August or so is when I started to manage, yeah. And, um, you know, my first day managing was my first day training to be a manager, I mm -hmm. never, no, <laughs> never knew what you're going to expect, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, basically, as far as that goes, though, uh, uh, I, I got brought in um, kind of as a ride along uh, mm -hmm. to Rockstar for Wrestling yes. in, uh, in Dayton uh, mm -hmm. by Dustin Rays. Right. Uh, Dustin brought me in. Um, you know, he was uh, going to work an angle mm -hmm. uh, with Aaron Williams at yeah. Rockstar. Yeah. And I had been traveling with him to some other. Mm -hmm. uh, to some other promotions, he pretty much asked me, like, hey, do you want to go? I said, yeah, I'll go. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, and I, I really didn't think they would use me. No. You know, but, yeah. Uh, uh, Jake Chris actually just started booking the shows, and I hadn't really spoken to Jake in, you know, quite a few years. Mm -hmm. Well, three or, three or four years for various reasons. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, when he came in, they they obviously recognized me. And they opened and, up the uh, door that you got to you. <laughs> yeah, Dustin yeah. started talking. Yeah, Dustin started talking to him, something like that. And I think Jake was like, Jake and, and you know, J.C. talk. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, he can definitely talk. He's like, well... You know, if you want something to do, you know, we're about to turn Alex Colon heel. Um, you know, what do you think about, you know, because you're, you're bigger than him. You know, mm -hmm. you know, that's, this is Jay talking to me. Yeah, you're yeah, bigger yeah. than him. You're, you know, uh, what if we did like a diesel type gimmick, like with Shawn Michaels, he's, you know, Kevin Nash. Mm -hmm. You know, you come in, you know, kind of as an enforcer. Eventually, yeah. you'll trans transition into wrestling, and, you know, whatever. So I thought, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Mm -hmm. So he, you know, told me, he said, well, show up to the shows for the next month. Because mm -hmm. uh, we had just had an eye pay per view. Uh, yeah. We have one every month oh, cool. at Rockstar Pro. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but we also do Wednesday TV tapings. Yeah. He's like, show up to all the TV tapings. You know, show up, you know, do, um, you know, wear a suit, but just don't talk to anybody. Just mm -hmm. walk around the crowd. Get them, get them wondering who you are. Yeah. Uh, so I did that. And uh, pretty much at the eye pay per view, um, you know, I, again, I'm doing the thing where I'm just walking around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alex and uh, Nate Wings have a. Uh, uh, match for the American Lucha Corps title. Yeah. Uh, Nate wins. Um, as soon as he wins, he's holding up the title mm -hmm. without any, you know, ex explanation given. I just jump the guardrail, run in, steal the title. You know, <laughs> and I'm holding it. Yeah. Nate's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Alex gets shoulder to shoulder with Nate. Like, hey, if you're messing with Nate Wings, you're messing with me. And then all of a sudden just clobbers him and boom, we're off to the races. Right. Uh, so we stole, his, we stole his title and that was the, you know, story for, I mean, a couple months. Was, yeah. He's the champion, but he had a title, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the, uh, you know, the formation of it. Yeah. You know, of course, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, evolved throughout uh, the last three years. I know. It's just um, something, something really awesome. I'm proud of you. You know, I'm always proud of you when you come out there and tell everybody, you know. Oh, okay. Give it hell. And, Thank you. Hey, what are the rock stars? I was just going to say, what are the rock star fans like? Like, you know, besides the CZW crowd? Like, how are they over there? Like, you know what I mean? Different than they, they, you know what it was. It, it was a great training wheels crowd for yeah. you know East Coast. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Um, you know, because like if you if you go to East Coast show like a CZW, yeah, or I know, ECW, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's a, it's a blood. I don't want to say bloodthirsty, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Bloodthirsty type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they want to see somebody get messed up. In yeah. The crowd. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, the the Dayton crowd is really similar to that. Yeah. You know, they are. Um, you know, the guys who come through, like Shane Douglas, yeah. you know, guys who were, uh, uh, were in the, C uh, the ECW locker mm -hmm. room, mm -hmm. um, have actually said, man, this has a real ECW feel. That's cool. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, low budget. Or, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, DIY type wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but, but yeah, I mean, our core fans, especially when I first got there, yeah. you know, we got the, uh, when I jumped in, you know, they, they start chanting immediately, you know, yeah. who are you, who are you? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, and and they give you the business, so yeah, yeah, but it's a, it, it's a, it's a good training wheels crowd. Yeah, because like you know, you know the OI four K chant would go out, you know, the OI four K chant, right. and you know, you suck this and that, you know, <laughs> but yeah, different mm -hmm. difference, you know, big difference in companies. You never know, you know. But yeah, and you, I like I like how the setup is. There. I'm gonna have to come to a show sometime. I'm gonna make my way. I promise that. I'm gonna make a promise, JT. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm coming. All right, how's that? 
I gotta Absolutely. drag my ass, take a take a trip out to Day, you know Ohio just to watch you guys Daytona, you know, take it Dayton, you know. But yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So the audience, yeah, you got you actually have a show coming up with them pretty soon or no? For Rockstar. Um. Uh. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one? I said, are you gonna have another show for Rockstar pretty soon? Yeah, uh, actually, this coming weekend, there's going to be a, a dual show uh, mm -hmm. between, uh, it's going to be Rockstar Pro uh, yeah. Presents mm -hmm. uh, uh, Pro Wrestling Revolver, so Sammy Callahan Company. Oh, sweet. Um, we're going to actually be doing a show in conjunction with them yeah. uh, next week. It's called the, uh, the Epping Catalina Wrestling Mixer. It's yeah, I saw, I saw that poster. I, I, just, I saw that poster. That was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, looks pretty good. Yeah, so it's going to be a one-night tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have guys like... Uh, you know, AR Fox, you're going yeah. to have uh, Space Monkey, um, you know, Phoenix, yeah. uh, you know, you're going to have the big you know, scramble that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, PW Roller, I uh, can you give me one second, I have to apologize. No, nah, take uh, it, it's, all this is all off the fresh uh, of our heads, our brains, you know? It should be, you know, a really good show. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. And then back to, are you guys, you guys coming back, or I don't know, are you guys coming next week to uh, CZ Dub or... Will you guys be present? A couple, um, couple of the guys, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, we, we definitely should be. Again, uh, yeah, I know. Let's not. We'll still be in. Uh, yeah, Japan. Uh, yeah, definitely. The rest of the group the pack. Will be in cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we were just uh, seeing the news. Did you? See, we all saw the news about Matt Tremont, huh? He's doing. He was in the hospital, huh? Man, yeah. And, you know, I know. I, uh, <laughs> I know every cliche, thoughts and prayers. Man, I know, man. man. Matt is a guy that I, I love. I know. Um, you know, and, and, and Matt, uh, you know, as far as somebody who will go out the distance, verbally I know, me, and, and yeah. what I mean by that is somebody who will just, you know, talk tell people, to you, yeah, take you to good guy or put me over. No, like, but man, he, like, he's a great guy. I, he's an awesome. I always like talking to Matt. Him, yeah. I know Matt is like taking a break. Takes got to take a break and health is important, you know. Got to take care of your Absolutely. health. Absolutely. You know, but actually, I just saw <laughs> Masada took his spot tonight. There's a show, what, Monster Pro Factory, I think Hybrid Pro. Yeah. Hybrid Pro, Masada's taking on the the Beast, uh, or actually the Monster Abyss. <laughs> the, yeah. You know, I thought that was a little bit interesting. I'm surprised they, uh, but, because of course Matt couldn't fill that spot, so, you know. Right, right, right. Well, and, uh, you know, Abyss, uh, you know, another yeah. guy I know really well, I mean, I'm yes. in Chicago. Yeah. Um, you know, but uh, it, it was kind of funny. I, I had not been asked to do hybrid whatsoever. I was under fans and then yeah, yeah. Up going, hey, you can imagine a bit. I was like, no, no, no nah, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've met a bis I've I've met a bis at a local sh TNA show or you know here and there you know when he comes around. Mm -hmm. You know, no, he's a good guy. He uh, is. You know, really has been uh, the character been great for me as yeah. far as uh, getting to work with him. That's uh, so cool. And really because of his you know stature, you know, I've been able to work with uh, Cole Cabana a lot. Yeah, I've worked cool. With, uh, you know, low key. I've got yeah. to work with you know a lot of guys who. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's um, outside of my comfort zone yeah. you know, working with my guys, um, you know, but it's uh, really opened my eyes to, you know, okay, well, here's how the guys mm -hmm. you know, who have, quote, unquote, made it to the big league. Here's how I know, gonna, I know. It's yeah, like like it's like my company that I used to go to in, in my next town over. It was like in the 90s. Uh, it was called uh, Phoenix Championship Wrestling. And, you know, Loki mm -hmm. Loki was the main guy. Loki and, like, SAT and, you know, all the names, Samoa Joe. There was, like, nobody's, you know, mm -hmm. AJ and just made it to the big yep. leagues, you know. I'm like, wow, it's cool, Balls Mahoney, you know, come on, you know. Oh, yeah. And Chris Candido, Absolutely. you know, Candido and all well, that. Well, yeah, they, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of that, uh, and mm -hmm. I tell you, a lot of the guys who, you know, uh, got big, like, uh, like this is actually a hometown boy for me, you know, he's yeah. actually from uh, Cincinnati, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, it's kind of, and that's one of the reasons why he is uh, in, the, uh, in the Killer Cult in uh, yeah. Chicago, mm -hmm. he asked to be with us because he's like, well, I'm from Ohio, he's Ohio boy, he's a killer.